Hey everyone, Warren G here, and today we're giving you a sneak peek to my new whiskey establishment, Warren Del Rey. Alright guys, I'm just kidding. Contrary to popular belief, this is not my establishment, nor is it even my namesake. But today we'll get the real deal from a very good and old friend of mine, John Fitzpatrick, or as some of you might know him as, Fitzy. Everybody, welcome to the fabulous, not quite yet open Warren. Um, John Fitzpatrick, um, Fitz, AKA Fitz, your spiritual advisor. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little brief tour of um, our new uh, restaurant, which is a shrine to brown spirits. Come on in. So this is your main entrance right here. This here is gonna be the main, <coughs> the main dining room. Throughout the house, I think we have 180 seats total. And that's going to, I'll take you over this way, that's going to include 30 seats at the main bar, including 11 outdoor seats, um, and then 19 inside, plus the drink rail, excuse me, another dozen or so. So we've got a pretty good sized main bar. It's got its very own service bar, which uh, for the first time in my life, I'm working at a place that's got its own service bar, and, and I'm not going to be behind the main bar. So, oh well. But that'll be good for our, our bartenders because they can just focus in, with uh, the guests in front of them. So this is the main bar here. That logo right there is the Warren Cocktail Club. And that's going to be a, a special uh, club for whiskey fans and spirit fans. And we're going to be doing all kinds of special events. And I'll tell you more about those uh, as we get over to the Warren Room. So this is your, your bar area. We also have a nice patio. We're also gonna have tons of seating outside, uh, which is important, obviously, these days. And another beautiful thing, we'll have valet, but we are the, in this new development here, um, anchored by Joseph's Classic Market, we are the only nighttime business. So this entire parking lot um, is basically all ours to use, so parking's gonna be a breeze here. So come on. So here's your main dining room. I think we're gonna redesign the tables and chairs kidding uh, it's all just loaded in right now so we're gonna have a nice um, spacious setup in here um, you know come in see the hostess either go to the bar or have a nice table in the middle you can work your way this way we'll show you our chef's table which is uh, 12 seats so this would be great for like family events and birthdays anniversaries uh, office get-togethers uh, so this is going to be a hot table and with a full um, window view of the kitchen and all the great goings-ons in there the cuisine is going to be better than uh, it's going to be as good as any you've tasted um, it's American whiskey kitchen but the food here is uh, we've already been doing tastings that's one of the fun things about doing a build-out is you get to uh, taste uh, a lot of the food and it's just blew my socks off so I'm real excited for the food here too we'll take a quick peek down actually let's go this way into the kitchen real quick it's a good sized kitchen and these guys have just been loading and unloading for the last week um, but it's already coming together. We've got a lot, obviously still a lot to do, but we're getting close. So it's a nice, uh, nice, clean, shiny new kitchen. And we got some great, uh, we have a great chef, Jen Knox and Louis Vega, her sous chef, uh, super talented. And geez, what they've been putting out already has just uh, been amazing. All right, so here, is what brought me to, to Warren um, and got me out here. When I first saw this, I just was like, I just stood and stared at it for about 10 minutes because this right here is the Warren room. And this, all of this, is going to be filled with our 1,000 different whiskeys. And each of the 1,000, there's often two, three, four, five behind it. Pappy Van Winkle, we've got multiple 20s, multiple 23s, 
multiple 15s. I've never seen anything like it. So it's like the arsenal of spirits I have to work with here is, is insane. So this, all these cabinets will be loaded. Um, we'll have a little four seat bar. This surface is made out of Stingray. Um, so really spared no expense. You've seen some of the fixtures and, and woodwork and craftsmanship in here. It's going to be really comfortable. It's going to be very high end. It is, it is indeed uh, a shrine to brown spirits. So I'm going to host, I won't be working on the main bar. I'll be over here. I've got um, four seats and it's always been my dream to not run around like crazy, although I love doing that. That's what we do. But here I'll be able to sit down with four people and really create an experience for them. This right here, if you Google Warren Delray, there's an article from the Sun Sentinel with a beautiful rendering of what this is going to look like with all the bottles. And here we've um, we paid an artist to come up with a, uh, a painting for this middle part. And it's, uh, it's a modern art kind of view of Humphrey Bogart. It's a really cool, cool piece. And so this is kind of the bogey. These bottles that are surround it, surrounding it will be the Pappies, the McAllen 50s, uh, all the big, all the big, the George Staggs, all the Buffalo Trace, the B-Tacks, um, all the stuff that you're lucky to see one bottle at a restaurant. We're going to have this whole, the, what I call the bogey bottles will be here. And this is going to be, when you come in, it's just going to, you're just going to stare at it because you're not going to believe that we have all this stuff. Um, so this is where I'll be working and doing my little four seat bar. And then I'll also be going around too when people order um, whiskeys at a certain level. I'll be doing what like a sommelier does uh, at restaurants that have a great wine list. I'll be going over there and helping them navigate the list, pick out the right spirits. If you like Johnny Walker Black, I'm going to give you three or four more. Really good. That's great, but you should try this then. Um, and just help people um, discover some new some new whiskeys. So we all know the brown spirit world has exploded, and it's just I'm still trying to get my head around the thousand bottles we have here. Uh, I know my whiskey, but it seems the more I study, the more whiskeys out there that I've like never even heard of or or barely familiar with. So it's got to be daunting for for guests too. Um, so what do you got for me, G29? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, Kansas City, P and L district, Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark Bourbon House, yeah. um, Kansas City, Kansas City Live. And how the, did that? Yeah, how did they like forge that interest into the the brown spirits for you? That was um, one of those situations where you know the move to KC was uh, not long term planned, and I wound up there, and I wound up with a great company called ECI, who built the whole. Kansas City Live and Power and Light District. They did the same thing with Infinity Live in Philly, uh, the new uh, Texas Live between where the Cowboys and the Rangers play. They just build these whole neighborhoods, and, and uh, which is great because they, they, with the multiple cities and multiple units in each city, they had the buying power to get the Pappy and, and whatnot. And this was probably 2009 or 10. And I was. Uh, hired by the company and then my first job was to manage the bar at um, Maker's Mark Bourbon House uh, in the Kansas City Live District and uh, it was a really nice place, upscale, great steaks, but the first time I looked at their whiskey list, let's be honest, before that, um, if you had Doors, Johnny Black, Makers, uh, that, that's where mo and Jameson, that's where most bars, the whiskey ended. If they were fancy, they had the small batch series. They had the Booker's, Baker's, Basil Hayden, and Knob Creek. And that was about it 10 or 12 years ago. So I walked into to Maker's Mark, and they've got over 200 whiskeys. And so I'm a veteran bartender by this point, but uh, as far as brown spirits goes, um, I had a lot of catching up to do. So it was, a, I don't want to say fake it till you make it, but I bought, I went and got a stack of bourbon books and whiskey books, and I had one in the bathroom, one on my coffee table, one in my car, uh, and I just studied and studied. And that 200 bottle list now looks meager <laughs> compared to what we're going to be sitting in front of. So 
but that's where it really like came together for me and I just got this fascination with, with all things whiskey. A lot of people ask me if, if me, Warren Z, is opening up a whiskey bar. Uh, I told them, you know what, unfortunately it's not my establishment. So what's the story behind Warren Delray, where the name came from, and who's opening this place? Well, when people ask me if it was uh, Warren Corpus, I just tell them, yeah. <laughs> Actually, if I were you, I'd just go with that. Um, in fact, Jeff Johns, who is um, one of the partners here, uh, and also Revolution Live, America's Backyard, Stash Drinking Den down in Lauderdale, CWS in Lake Worth. Um, his uncle, Warren, um, sadly passed away just a few years ago. And his uncle was um, a big influence in his life and really taught him about the finer things and cigars and, and brown spirits and, and wine, fine wine. Um, and he, he lived large and he lived for, you know, to enjoy the best. And so that was a profound interest, uh, uh, influence on Jeff. And when his uncle passed, I think he had it in his head that someday he wants, when he unloads all these amazing spirits, uh, he wants to do it in an upscale, uh, really fun venue and he wants to dedicate it uh, to his uncle who had such a big presence and was such a, a positive influence. It taught him so many, so much about like the finer things and, and especially with spirits. So that's, that's Warren. And when you come in, you'll see pictures of, uh, of Warren too, so. We see there's a lot of space here to hold a lot of bottles. So how would you describe your selection or inventory as related to others in the South Florida area or even the state of Florida or even the Southeast? I think it's safe to say that we're going to be number one. I don't think that anybody in the Southeast will have more different expressions, more different labels uh, than we will. So um, we're, we're pushing a thousand. Uh, we're going to start loading these bottles in. Uh, they've been in, in careful storage for a long time. And once we start load, loading them in, uh, we're looking at about a thousand. And I don't think anybody will have more. Um, and these guys are so passionate about whiskey. Brian Freed is kind of our, uh, he's my spiritual advisor, my uh, whiskey uh, consigliere. Uh, and he's played a big part in, and these guys go to Kentucky. Before COVID, they were going regularly and doing uh, barrel picks. So we have about, uh, you know, a, a, it's, a, it's a thing nowadays that, that restaurants go and have, um, we'll go and pick out their own barrel. We've had, these guys have gone so many times, I think we have two dozen. The name of the company, the corporation is Damn Good Hospitality. Uh, so they are probably going, we'll probably feature two dozen Damn Good Hospitality barrel picks, like Blanton's. It'll be a Blanton single barrel, but it'll say on the label, Damn Good Hospitality uh, barrel pick. Uh, Four Roses, uh, Elijah Craig, I, I just go down the list. Um, there's just so many of them. So I think we'll have more of our own picks uh, than anybody I can even think of. Forget about Florida, like anywhere. So. So in your previous establishments, um, you've been called a whiskey psalm, a spiritual advisor. What is your role here at Warren Del Rey? My role here is just that, although um, I've always taken pride in when people ask me something to have the answer. And if I don't have the answer, I'll get it for you quick. Uh, I'll find out quick. And you'll never ask me the same question twice. It drives me nuts. Um, if I don't know something, I just need to, need to know. And so that's helped me wherever I've gone. I think it'll be more than ever here because think of a, uh, think of like a burn steakhouse or a really nice place that's got a super comprehensive wine list. Um, even, even your wine savvy guests are uh, going to need help navigating that. So I'm doing the same here and we'll have a nice wine list here, but obviously the whiskey list is massive. And if I'm studying whiskey and I do whiskey for a living and I have, I'm, I'm still finding things that I don't know constantly. Um, it's going to be a little, overwhelming for, for a lot of our guests. So this is a unique position. I don't know of anybody else in South Florida that is basically a whiskey sommelier. 
Uh, so I'm here to help people navigate the list, ask them what they like, you know, what they like to drink, and then if if they like uh, Jameson, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn them on to six or seven new Irish whiskeys they've never heard of, or or all kinds of whiskeys. There's um, there are great Indian whiskeys, Taiwanese whiskeys, Japanese, of course, are like killing all the all the competitions right now, and it's the hottest thing. So I'm excited to to just unleash these bottles on people and say, try this. This is going to be, if you like this, you're going to love this. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily mean an upsell. It just means helping them find that like go-to dram that's just, that they're just going to be excited about that they'd never heard about before. So it's kind of cool. Um, you know, I've done that in, in small parts at, at other restaurants, uh, but that's what I'll be doing full time here. So that's awesome, man. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, um, get excited because the team they put together here, uh, Wayne Pasick from City Oyster is, a, is an iconic um, hospitality guy. Um, one, of my, one of my favorite people, and, and we've known each other since I moved here in 2000, and this is our first chance working together. But one thing I know about him is he understands hospitality and fun and making this a great experience. You can go anywhere uh, and spend your money but you want to, we all have a limited amount of money and a little, limited amount of time. Uh, so you want a great experience, and that's what we're going to do here. We're not just going to serve you food and put your, put your spirit on the table. We're going to um, have you going out, hopefully, leaving, leaving Warren going, wow, that was, that was so much fun. I can't wait to go back. Uh, and Iggy, our, uh, Mike, our general manager, was at City Cellars um, for about two decades. He is a super savvy, super smart. Um, We've really put together a great team here. Uh, he kn he knows the wine end, so with the with the top level cuisine, I don't think there'll be any better food anywhere than we're going to have here. We've got a, a great kitchen and a talented uh, kitchen staff uh, and chef, and so we'll have the wine to complement that, and then of course like um, whiskey like nobody's business. Um, so it's going to be fun, and we want to remember at the end of the day. People are out to enjoy themselves and come in with an open mind. Um, we're here to help you n navigate, not make you feel overwhelmed or, or you know, we want to we want to help you like, exp you know, increase your experience and help you discover new things. Uh, I'm discovering new things every day, so I, I'm I'm almost like I can't wait to tell people about it. So come in, we're going to make sure that when you walk out, you said that was not that was a nice dinner. That was a great experience, man. So that's, that's what we're about.